Well, hello everybody. This is Making Sang here, first name May King. And today we've got the wonderful Monty with us. How are you, Monty? Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you, May. It's such a pleasure to be here. <laughs> and your good self. Now, let's tell the world who you are and what you do. Well, I do basically two things for 20 years. On one side, I'm an entrepreneur. So I do my tiny startups, you know, and um, I'm um, Italian, as you guess, by my British accent. So even if I live in Brighton now in UK, I, I lived, yeah, for 40 years in Italy. So now for eight, nine years, I'm in Brighton. So and I, I always doing been doing startups. And on the other side, I build my media. So I have three million followers on social media. And I've been doing this for, uh, yeah, eight years. And before I, will, I was hosting my television show on Sky News. And during these years, I've interviewed, you know, many people. We were chatting before. I've interviewed Jeff Bezos, Matthew McConaughey, Tony Robbins, and, and many interesting people. So that, that's the fun part of my job. And the real job is entrepreneur. Now, this coming Thursday, uh, yeah. we are absolutely proud and privileged because we're going to be hearing you uh, be uh, one of the uh, amazing speakers as part of uh, StreamYard Connect. And you're going to be covering, as I read from my teleprompter here, <laughs> <laughs> how to use live video to reach your audience. Now, you talked about how you've got a, an impeccable uh, TV uh, career. But you will have started uh, live uh, video um, uh, and built your audience accordingly. So if someone is thinking about getting started on live video, can you remember those days when you first started, Monty? How do you start? Oh, my gosh. I, I, <laughs> I, I perfectly remember because I, I moved from Italy to UK. And uh, I don't know why. After, you know, seven years that you do a television show on Sky News live every, every week, uh, you know that you can, you are able to do a television show. So I moved here with my wife, and she's British, and I say to her, look, I, I'm going to ask BBC if I can have a television show with them. And, uh, and she looked at me like, ah, try, I mean, why not? So I, I remember I went to a sort of casting, and I remember I was chatting with this, this woman, very nice, very gentle, very British, like, oh, yeah, nice, nice, good, good. And then at the end, she said, no, no, we're not interesting at all. You know, like, and I actually, I realized that my English was so rubbish, and it's still rubbish, and I, I couldn't really do a show on television, you know, on BBC, like, like David Attenborough. And so I started to do video on social media. And I remember that for one and a half years, uh, I never got any views. I only get, you know, 10 views, four views, or my younger son, older son that sometimes came and comment. He was the only comment writing, ha, 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 like that. <laughs> so it was really embarrassing and frustrating. And, um, and then I started to, to move. I, at the beginning, I was only on YouTube. Then I started to move on Facebook. And was the moment that Facebook, I don't know if you remember, they started to allow video on the platform. And so I started to do this video. And, um, and on Facebook, immediately started to, to grow. And then from there, I started to use... Uh, uh, live streaming or interview remotely like we're doing um, to, 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 to do interviews and that opened up a, a whole universe and now we are 3 million followers and then counting on several social media platforms and, and now it's easy but at the beginning it's really really hard I have to say. And I, you know, I really um, want to thank you for uh, sharing, uh, you know, the, the, when, when you first uh, got started because it must have been um, quite dejecting to know that you only had you know your son watching getting the odd comment for about a year I mean when yeah. when did you feel that things were starting to change and I mean there must have been times when you thought oh I, I'm not going to do this I mean how did you you know carry it on yeah it's uh first is very embarrassing so you have to overcome the embarrassment um because uh, imagine I, I was uh, an entrepreneur and also a bit of a consultant and when I started to do video online, people uh, joked about me in Italy. They said, ah, oh, come on, he's a joke. He's, you know, 40 years old and do videos on Facebook. <laughs> and, uh, it was, Facebook was only, you know, with video for um, kittens and uh, kids. Uh, so it, it was not really for professional videos. Also, I, I started to do immediately long videos. And in that time, people say, no, a video has to be long, 25 seconds, because the attention is not there. So it was completely 
out of any any reasonable approach. So that was one problem. I, I was uh, embarrassed, but I didn't care actually. The second problem is that I was doing another job. That was not my job. And um, so I was waking up uh, every day 5.30 and shoot a video by myself. And I have no idea how to do a video. I was used to television. We were talking before, I had four cameras and big studios and news score behind me. So it was easy, but when you do it yourself, you, you see what was the camera and the lighting. I, I couldn't manage right lighting for, I don't know, one and a half years. I was always dark. I couldn't have, you know, the, the right, I, I didn't know anything. So it was really frustrating. But somehow I thought, wow, I, I really enjoy doing that. So the, I think the, the, the good um, takeaway maybe for, for people watching this is if it's something that you do because you want to make money or because you want to be famous or because you think you have to do it, it will be very hard. But if it's something that you really like it, because for me, instead of going to uh, psychotherapy, I do my videos and I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And uh, so I, I will do it anyway. If I have one follower or 500 million, it doesn't matter. I do it because I, I love it. So the moment that, that everything changed was that Facebook moment where finally I saw that someone was watching and I got some feedback and I realized that I, I got, I could resonate. My message was resonating with some kind of people. And uh, yeah, so that, that was the moment, but it, it's a long path. Some, some people got it quickly. Other ones like me, you know, like an old YouTuber, uh, it, it took some time, but if you're not ashamed of yourself, then I mean, no, nothing will stop you. So we've got some key takeaways here. If you've got a passion, just go for it. Um, you've got to keep going um it, that that's the lesson that uh, th that we're learning from here and uh, and i love the fact that you said you know that even though people were laughing at you you didn't care because um you know as an entrepreneur we need to keep going and keep going and then one day things will explode just like uh, your good self so how many followers do you have how many subscribers do you have on your youtube channel now uh, YouTube, I think, is almost 700,000. And uh, yeah, combining all the platform together, um, yeah, 3 million. We, we are around 3 million. And, uh, and now I'm also moving a lot into the, the crypto world with NFTs. I have a new NFT project launching, uh, which is a new, uh, a new way. The, to, crypto is the new internet. So there is so fascinating and interesting. So I'll do a lot of videos also about the topic. Uh, uh, but yeah, at the end, you know, the great thing is that probably another thing that, that people should think about when they do videos is um, if you can build a community, it doesn't matter how big it is, maybe 100 people, maybe 1000, but that community will be your parachute forever. So once you have a community that really appreciate what you do, they will support you, they will give you feedback, they will uh, financially support you if you need it because you are really providing value to them and they will in in exchange uh, try to make you win so you're not alone anymore that's i think the best thing in, in a period like this with covid and and so on that it that is a very hard period but a community is a, is a great great parachute for for your career i would say well, thank you so much uh, for your time and your uh, words of wisdom, Monty. If you want to catch uh, Monty and uh, many, more, many more words of uh, wisdom from him, um, do subscribe uh, to, uh, uh, to the uh, SY uh, Summit, uh, the StreamYard Connect Summit. Uh, the details will be uh, somewhere along, uh, along these lines. Um, this coming Thursday, 10.45 uh, a.m. PST, which is uh, 6.45 in the uk any final words before we end this broadcast monty oh i can't wait to to see you at the streamer event for me it's a, it's a big honor i mean i use streamer now for for a long time and I, I really would love to to share some some errors that i've done and and some good tips that i think could help to improve your your live streaming career so i'll see you there we'll see you there